ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு தி எய்த் செஷன் ஆன் ஏடபிள்யூஎஸ் சர்டிஃபைட் க்ளவுட் ப்ராக்டிஷனர் கிராஷ் கோர்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் வேரியஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் செக்யூரிட்டி மெக்கானிசம்ஸ் விச் ஆர் ஆஃபர்ட் பை தி ஏடபிள்யூஎஸ் ஸோ டு ஸ்டார்ட் வித் இட்ஸ் பெட்டர் ஃபார் செக்யூரிட்டி வி கேன் ஸ்டார்ட் வித் ஏடபிள்யூஎஸ் கேஎம்எஸ் விச் இஸ் தி கீ மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் சர்வீஸ் இட் இஸ் சிம்பிள் டு நோ தி கேஎம்எஸ் இஸ் ஆல் அபவுட் மேனேஜிங் தி கிரிப்டோகிராஃபிக் கீஸ் அண்ட் கண்ட்ரோல் ஃபார் வேரியஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் சர்வீசஸ் ஸோ டு டு அட்ரெஸ் தேட் வாட் இஸ் தி கிரிப்டோகிராஃபிக் கீஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் திஸ் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் வி நீட் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் சம்திங் அபவுட் தி டேட்டா என்கிரிப்ஷன் ஸோ யூ கேன் சி திஸ் ஹியர் இன் தி பிக்சர் ஹே ஐ எம் ஹேவிங் எ பிளைன் டெக்ஸ்ட் ஃபைல் அண்ட் வாட் ஐ கேன் do i can make use of the plain text data key which uses some encryption mechanism and the text will be cipher text which means my the data whatever the files which i am having is going to be completely encrypted so without the plain text data key this text cannot be decrypted and we we are not able to see the data then comes the kms kms uses something called customer master key so using the customer master key it uses the same set of the encryption algorithm to encrypt the plain text data key to create the encrypted data key so ideally what we people used to do we used to do this it's we used to encrypt it using the plain text data key and then we encrypt the plain text data key using the customer master key we used to store the cipher text along with the encrypted data key so without this cmk without the customer master key this data cannot be decrypted then comes the decryption mechanism which is very simple we may make use of the customer master key to decrypt this encrypted data key to get the plain data key then use the plain data key to decrypt the cipher text to get the plain text data it is the two layer envelope mechanism envelope encryption mechanism so the kms is going to provide this set of features it is like the key management for all these data keys and cmks are going to be provided by kms so and then it is like wherever we are using wherever we are storing the data we can make use of kms kms is integrated with the complete aws ecosystem so services like s3 rds ebs redshift everywhere we can make use of kms to do the data encryption it is compliant with the major standards which are currently available like soc pci fips fedramp hipaa all these things are certified with the aws kms the another component to know is cloud hsm cloud hsm is somehow same similar compared to aws kms in this case it is going to be an complete complete tenancy if you want to do a, a sort of like i want a dedicated tenancy for my encryption i want a dedicated um, dedicated mechanism from aws then what you can do you can very well make use of a cloud hsm to manage your own encryption keys again it is again fips 140 for two certified and all these things are there here one important difference between kms and cloud hsm is like you can export your keys that's what the tenancy what i had already discussed in the case of kms key export option is not available but in hsm you can very well export your keys to some other place as well the other components in security and compliance it's amazon macy amazon macy is a quite a interesting stuff to know it is all about pii say i am having a data which is stored in my s3 bucket i just wanted to know is there any personally identifiable information on my s3 bucket then you can run the macy report on top of the s3 bucket it uses the machine learning and other pattern matching algorithms to analyze the data which is stored on the s3 bucket and it will provide a complete report on what are all the vulnerabilities what are all the personally identifiable information which are available on the specific s3 bucket uh, here we need to know about the aws shield uh, to know aws shield we need to know about distributed denial of service which is the ddos attack this picture explains it in a clear way say we we had we are we are already implemented and web application or any application on top of an aws infrastructure or any infrastructure mm, it is running right say a bad actor 
character or a person who is an enemy to you he what he can do he can do a dealer's type of an attack which is a simple attack it is he made use of some bots and he made use of some automated mechanism to excessively send lot of traffic to your web application so what happens your web application will start receiving a very huge number of traffic at one point in time your application will go down so this type of an attack is called as an ddos attack which is the distributed denial of service attacks it's one typical type of an attack what people used to follow so to avoid these type of attacks is there anything which is provided by aws it is called as an aws shield aws shield is the shield mechanism which will protect your application from the ddos type of an attack aws shield comes with two type two tiers one is the shield standard and other one is the shield advanced shield standard is the free is offered to us in free of cost but shield advanced they will be charging $3000 per year but with the dedicated ddos response team and if you if you are facing any type of an ddos attack they will refund the money as well so those type of options are available with shield advanced the other thing it's like aws waf aws waf is the web application firewall which helps us to protect against the other types of attacks like sql ingestion and cross site scripting so shield and waf will work together it is in the shield advanced mode we can have the waf which is integrated with shield so we will do lot amount of security protection from the ddos from sql ingestion and also from the cross site scripting so this is how the waf works where what you can define you can define a policy you can create you can create a policy to block something say ideal examples are like say from a specific ip address if i am going to get more than some 5 or 10 number of requests then automatically it will block that specific ip address so these type of mechanisms are available with waf waf is very good thing to know in considering the security perspective of your application and uh, the other important thing to remember is aws secrets manager aws secrets managers is all about secrets in simple terms say i am having my username and password i need to store my username and password within the aws ecosystem where i can store that you you can make use of two options one is the ssm parameter store and other one is the aws secrets manager aws secrets manager it provides some other lot of other mechanisms like rotation policies and managing the stuffs etc so best place to store your database credentials or user credentials or any forms of the security credentials we can store it on cws secrets manager AWS certificate manager AWS certificate manager is all about TLS and SSL it is all about https you can see and lock a lock symbol on the websites which are accessed using https it is an kind of and very secured communication between the web browser and the web server that happens using a certificate we need to have an certificate attached to our web server or the website which we are going to design all those type of ssl certificates and TLS tls certificates are managed using aws certificate manager you can bring your own certificate as well it is like if you are already having an ssl certificate if you want to deploy it on top of aws we can manage those options as well using aws certificate manager guard duty guard duty is an holistic system it is a, it's a threat detection service which continuously monitors the malicious activity and unauthorized behavior so that your aws account will be completely protected it is more of like a, all the data everything it's an holistic uh, security mechanism to protect your aws accounts aws artifact is another thing it is a repository it is one thing one good thing to remember as the part of the exam so it is where i can get all the aws related documents say soc reports say pci reports say certifications and accreditations what aws holds all these types of information are available in the aws artifact you can go there and you can collect the documents in terms of security compliance and all these things you can collect it from there if you, if you want to share it with some auditing team or other teams and one last addition to this family is the amazon inspector inspector it is all about an assessment service it does the assessment on top of any of the things and it will come up with the report possibly it is it, it is useful to find the vulnerability test we usually people used to do this it's like say i am having a web application which is deployed on the ec2 instances i need to do an vulnerability assessment on the ec2 machine so you can very well make use of amazon inspector 
inspector will do complete vulnerability assessment on the EC2 machines and it will generate a report. In that report, it will tell what are all the vulnerabilities. It scans the security groups. It scans all the other options. What are all the ports which are open? And then a complete detailed report will be provided to us using Amazon Inspector. So Inspector, it is all about vulnerabilities and deviations from the best practices. We can get it in a detailed report form. We came to end of this lecture. I hope this lecture is informative for you. I am looking forward to see you in the next lecture.